Hi, this is Geeta Khanna, author of Style of India, published with Hachette India. Uh, today, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, some aspects of Style of India with Siddharth from this day. So uh, this all stems from my experiences uh, while I was living in New York. Uh, I went to FIT through NIFT and then interned with DKNY and then worked with Mark Jacobs. When I came back to India from New York, I switched from being in the design industry to fashion media. And uh, I started doing covers, uh, curating editorial content. And I always thought that there should be a good documentation of, uh, of the capabilities of our fashion industry, what the talent pool in India offers. And uh, therefore, I thought that one day I'll do a book on Indian fashion. Actually, it was meant to be a book on Indian fashion, but it once I got into it, it stirred into uh, also delving into the historicity of style of India, uh, primarily from a perspective of a fashion professional and not a historian. So that's what makes this book different. My favorite era of Indian fashion, you will not believe, is actually the ancient India. And, and the reason is that uh, this is uh, the er era uh, between Indus Valley civilization all the way to the end of the Gupta age, uh, which is the end of the 6th century um, or 7th. It's because um, I just like the pristine purity and the innovativeness of that era, which is very, very like uh, different, um, uh, you know, all the curation and emergence of dances, the Natya Shastra, their attention to detail uh, for everything was so unique. Um, and it was not as uh, deeply uh, painted with influence of trade which happened post the 7th century. So it's a big repertoire for Indian or any any designers anywhere in the world. And I think that is a little bit of an unexplored realm, in my opinion. It's also very interesting, the music, the, the dance, the, the sensibilities around that time are absolutely amazing. So I would say that it's a work in progress. We have made certain attempts, uh, first person being Manish Arora, in my opinion. I think Sabya Sachi is a promising brand for now. Uh, I think they, that he's doing a really good job of it. And, and I see a lot of potential with his brand moving forward on the international platform or stage. So we have always embraced uh, other styles and influences through trade and invasion. But what's interesting is that we've never left the site of our originality. So in spite of the cut and sew garments, which became uh, a mainstay, uh, starting with the, uh, the Sultanate period, the Mughal and the British, we never left our dhotis and lungis and saris. We just adapted a little bit here and there, and but we never like just gave it up completely. So it's not like uh, the sari or a dhoti or a lungi is now only found in the museum. People still wear it, which is very interesting. It shows the resilience of the Indian culture at its core, at, at its base, which is really uh, agile, It's um, but it's, it's deep rooted. So it lo looks very soft. Uh, it looks very easy to uh, color in the sense influence or paint, but it's not. It, it's still very uh, strong and it has very deep roots within the people of India. And even though the culture of, uh, for example, Tamil Nadu is so different from, you'll say, Himachal or, uh, or Assam, but people don't really completely give up their roots, which is something that ties 
the entire subcontinent in a subtle way. So there were tons of challenges mostly uh, for research of ancient India because uh, there's not much uh, you can uh, find in terms of images and therefore I ended up curating a, a photo shoot called the Harappa shoot which we call the Harappa shoot which you can find in the early pages of the book but you still need to tie the past to the present to derive a sense of uh, evolution of style so you can't ignore the historicity so I decided to just look at uh, a lot of work which has been done by PhD uh, students uh, you know I try to like uh, find uh, uh, books which are now out of print in so many libraries and, and just validate my research by just like going through the same topic uh, which has been worked on by at least 10 to 15 professional um, academicians so that we know that the the information that we're trying to give is pure and and valid. Some other aspects were like getting the international brands to partner with Style of India, especially brands like Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Chanel, uh, which are also part of the book to uh, request them to send uh, their works inspired by India uh, was not easy. But uh, I have to say that a lot uh, of the effort for coordination and manifestation uh, has been with my assistant on the book, Nidhi Mahajan. Her relentless uh, uh, dedication towards this project was so important. Otherwise, I don't think I would have been able to actually manifest this book fully. <laughs> Definitely because of my research, I have lots and lots of ideas of uh, what people might want to know about other specific styles in India. So yes, I want to do uh, something with performing arts costumes in India. There's like so many other aspects that can be beautifully documented and highlighted. Thank you for uh, listening to my a piece on Style of India. You can check out more um, on Style of India on my Instagram handle Geeta Khanna Official and Style of India on Twitter. Uh, also, please definitely check out the book at the nearest store to you or you can buy a copy online.